now, my relationship with God is as his son. Each day I ask him, whatever it is you have planned for me today, can I do it in this neighborhood? If not, let me know right now before I even get out of bed. So my main goal is to maintain my vertical relationship with him so that he takes care of all of the horizontal. And that's challenging because other people don't care about your relationship with God. They don't care about that. What they care about is their relationship with them and how that is benefiting them. But that's part of being in the society that we currently live in. A society that knows that there is a God, but does not submit to that God. So the first thing I do daily is submit from the time I reach consciousness. So I speak when I awake. Our Father, will you allow your name to be hollowed through me? So I can make that connection so the rest of the day is what it is. But I understand the anguish that I see from my black brothers and sisters. I do. My brothers and sisters believe in God, yet they also tell me that prayers against racial injustice are futile. My response, if heaven is not good news enough, then I don't know what is. God ain't gonna miraculously burst in and save us from our troubles, but he promised he'd be there to listen. Being seen by God, <laughs> that's cause for worship for me. And that's comforting in the meantime. But I walk on Broadview and remember the sounds I used to hear. <laughs> My grandmama singing. Some glad morning when this life is over. I'll fly away Oh, when I die Hallelujah, by and by I'll fly I hear killing each other like they getting paid to do the shit. Speaking of getting paid, boy, if I could just get some bread and get up off of you, I think I'll finally be able to see what this God-given life supposed to be like. It's like I was born into a tragedy. Didn't even get to choose the shit for myself. Earn it. Like a man. But they say I'm supposed to clean this mess up. My own life. Mama stay calling me a fool. Saying they ain't gonna mount the shit. Well, guess what? I may not be up there at Princeton like my boy Cal, but I know I could put these two hands to work. At least make a decent living a few dollars. I just need somebody to get that chance. Somebody to bet on me. Where I won't lose. Change to give? 
I can see you in your new shoes with your new glasses that says you clearly have a fucking dollar to give. I was supposed to be a doctor. You know that? I'm a human, so please spare me a fucking dollar. To be black excellence is to transcend the norms of this nation, is to work hard and smart, to play your cards right and keep your path to greatness clear. It's my understanding that opportunities are limited for our people, and that at the same time, our people limit ourselves from those opportunities too. The only one that can make a life worth living for yourself is yourself. No one else is responsible for that. I am determined to see the purpose of my life through, to be a leader, and to continue to make the choices that will positively benefit the world in the bigger picture. That doesn't always mean I choose the good option, but it's the best option for taking me to where I'm called to be. I try to be. I try to be a vessel for my ancestors' resilience. I try to be a mosaic for my people's history. I try to be protection spell, a black girl magic that breaks generational curses. I try to be Afrotastic sister girl with black power fists. I try to be an outlier. In statistics, I try to be a vital voice that shatters a culture of silence. I try to be Huey P. Newton, Malcolm X, Angela Davis, Fred Hampton. I try to be fearless, loud, and unapologetically black. I try to be leader and activist and revolutionary. I try to be strong and black and woman. I try to be change. I try to be black. I try to be. But in the presence of our oppressors, I am silence. I am fear. I am apologies. I am minstrel show. I am fake smiles. I am yes massa, no massa. I am Negro. I am compliance. I am nothing. I am bound. And how can I liberate my people if I can't seem to liberate myself? The world is so loud, but I stay quiet. My mind scares me, but I try to stay calm. My heart is racing, but I stay still. Why? Is it the anxiety? The trauma, the depression, the self-medication, or maybe it's just being black in America. That's enough to put anyone through a mental battle. Mama tells me to pray over it, and I do, but it just doesn't seem to change. Every day I wake up, someone else died or was murdered, and she'll hug me and she'll tell me everything will be alright, but will it? There's no rules to this. I could be at school, at work, driving, walking, running. I could be at the mall, in a movie, reading, sleeping, and... And just like that, it's all over. Nothing I can do about it. No amount of mama's prayers and tears, no petition, no protest. Nothing would bring me back. And these are the thoughts that consume me. But no mother wants to think about burying their child. Death is supposed to be for the old. So some things I don't tell mama. Instead, I tell her that though I woke up feeling defeated today, I'll try to win the battle tomorrow. Most times the anxiety, the depression, the trauma, they win. Some days I put up a fight and others I just don't. But I promise I want peace. 
peace of mind, body, soul, peace in this country. I know there's people out there who would love to see me dead, but they can't win. They won't win. I won't let them. If I continue to choose life every day, I can't let them take it from me. Mama doesn't deserve that. I don't deserve it. I will win. Maybe not today or even tomorrow, but in the meantime, I'll choose life and wait on the day. The day that I win. Fly Now I'm afraid they've taken away our music. Yo, what's up, dog? Oh, Where you been at, my guy? You know, I've just been out here getting this paper, bruh. How many times I gotta tell you, bro? Put me on. I told you. You know how I put these two hands to work. Right. Got to rain on me. Got you, bro. And got you. I got you. Just like everybody else. You got me, dog. You got me. Boom. You my nigga. I told you. I got you. Well, bottom line is, I'm just ain't trying to end up like shorty over there. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, Miss Nita. Hey, Miss Jones. Said to her daughter. No impeachment. Good. How you doing? Freed from your suffering. All right, all right, but hey, Bible study Wednesday, 6 p.m. Good morning, brothers and sisters. There's a protest today in front of Fort Reeves. Be there. Oh, here you go, brother. Thank you, sister. Bible hey, study. <laughs> over there doing God help us all Oh, 
gotta be They say death is in the power of the tongue. Well, whoever the hell said that shit ain't never stared down an AK-47 gun. I'm going to try this new thing, though. Set my mind and my mouth on the good things I seek. I call favor upon my life. One up on all these cats that's down me. Mind over matter. This right here, it ain't forever. Joy will come. Joy has to come. Joy will arrive in the morning standing tall on my two feet god use your strong gravity to pull me up towards your light i will rise from humble grounds to heaven's gates where freedom awaits so much pain so much anguish so much turmoil yet so much resilience so much triumph so much beauty that is black. That is fighting my oppressors through my smile. That is losing so much but holding on to the little they can't take away from you. That is mama saying that morning doesn't stop when the sun rises but finding the joy anyway. We are black. We are everything you want to be yet everything you're not. We are hearts made of solid gold. We are aging like wine. We are unbeatable. Black is everything. Black is breaking stereotypes. Black is not having a seat at the table and building a new table instead. Black is the music in my walk. Black is eternal. Black is you. Black is me. I heard the most beautiful sounds the other day. It was the sounds of breathing and celebration. It was the sounds of playing in the grass. It was the sounds of black and brown babies and grown folks walking barefoot and singing and dancing in their blackness. It was the sounds of our culture. It was the sounds of feeling protection. It was the sounds of black women feeling protected. It was the sounds of feeling empathy. It was the sounds of my mama saying, I love you, baby boy. I heard the most beautiful sounds the other day. Let me daydream about them. Black people made that music. To be black means you are innately a revolution. And before you are even able to fathom the essence of your being, you radiate a limitless power that forces others to quiver in fear forces others to draw their weapons against your blackness, forces others to try to steal that music, to steal that magic, and your existence and your joy becomes a threat, and your breath becomes a radical form of activism. So inhale and exhale and witness the power of your blackness. The dreams of my ancestors the gift of the cloth. 
I want the history of my melanin to shine from glory to glory, transcending suffering and returning to eternal joy. We are the skin of celebration, the color of life. I want to live for my family. I hold their smiles in my heart. The world can never take that away.